Welcome to my podcast. Today, I will be doing an armchair GM of the Boston Bruins and the Buffalo Sabres. I will start with the Boston Bruins, and then I will do the Buffalo Sabres. Uh, the first order of priority for the Boston Bruins will be to re-sign some key players. Some key free agents would be Louis Erickson, Tory Krug, Lee Stepniak, Brett Connolly, and Kevin Miller. Louis Erickson will be an unrestricted free agent. Tory Krug is an RFA. Lee Stepniak is a UFA. Brett Connolly is an RFA. And Kevin Miller is a UFA. Some other players to resign are Joe Morrow, who is an RFA. Zach Trotman, who is an RFA. John Michael Lyles, who is a UFA. Tyler Randall, who is a UFA. Ben Ferraro, who is an RFA. And Chris Kelly, who is a UFA. As well as backup goaltender Jonas Gustafson, who is a UFA. The first order of priority is to re-sign Tory Krug. The reason why he is the first order of priority is because he is an important part of their power play. Without Tory Krug, you're missing a player that can anchor their first power play unit and that can bring the puck up on that power play unit. Even though he plays on the third defensive pair, in this modern NHL era, you need a good first power play unit in order to succeed. Without Tory Krug, the power play would not be as successful. The second order of business would be trying to resign Louis Erickson, who is a UFA. Due to the fact that the Bruins will be limited in cap and they have a few important players to resign. Louis Erickson may not be resigned by the Bruins, and he is going to be a highly sought after free agent. So he may get an offer from another team that offers him more money than the Bruins can afford to pay him. So if they cannot resign Louis Erickson, they can retain Lee Stepniak and add a free agent like a Steve Downey who can play a depth winger role on their team. Um, fourth, the fifth order of business would be to resign defenseman Kevin Miller, who is an important part of, of their defense right now. Joe Morrow, Zach Trotman, as well as Landon Throw to help depth on the team. They should re-sign Jonas Gustafson as the backup goalie to give Malcolm Subban another year because you don't want to bring up Malcolm Subban as the backup goalie because you know Zuckerask is going to get the majority of the games. You don't want him sitting up there and just sitting on the bench. And the last order of priority is to call up Alexander Kokochev, who has their top prospect in the minor leagues. Kokochev can help their depth out. He can play on the second or third line, but I would place him on the third line to help out the depth and place him on the line with Spooner and Hayes. So to sum up the free agency and offseason, uh, the additions would be Steve Downey, the losses of the Offseason would be Louis Erickson, Brett Connolly, John Michael Lyles, Chris Kelly, and Tyler Randall. The losses of Louis Erickson and Chris Kelly are tough. Chris Kelly is an important part of the Bruins because he brings leadership to their team. But he has gotten injured for a vast majority of the past few seasons. So due to that factor... The Bruins may not want to be paying him $3 million again. Uh, Louis Erickson, as I mentioned before, is going to be a highly sought-after free agent, so they may not be able to keep him. Brett Connolly has saw his role decline over the course of the season with the addition of Lee Stepniak, 
So if they bring back Lee Stepniak, then you can probably see Brett Connolly leave. Uh, Randall really doesn't have a spot on the team. And John Michael Lyles would be better suited on a contending team other than the Bruins because they would be better off uh, playing younger defensemen in his spot. So this is how the depth chart would look like at the start of next season in this armchair GM. The first line would be Brad Marchand, Patrice Bergeron, and Lee Stepniak. The second line would be Matt Bileski, David Krejci, and David Pasternak. The third line would be Alexander Kokochev, Ryan Spooner, and Jamie Hayes. The fourth line would be Landon Ferraro, Noel Akaria, and Frank Martrano. Those are the forward lines. The defensemen would be the first pair, Zidane Chara and Kevin Miller. Second pair, Joe Morrow and Dennis Seidenberg. And the third pair is Tori Krug and Adam McQuaid. The spare defenseman would be Zach Trotman, who is a good seventh defenseman that you can fill in in need of injury. Uh, the goalies are Tupac and Jonas Gustafson. So those are the Bruins lineup. That's the Bruins lineup for this armchair GM. Now I will move on to the Buffalo Sabres. The first order of priority is to resign some key players. Rasmus Ristolainen is an RFA. Semkis Bergeson is an RFA as well. Johan Larson and Jake McCabe are all RFAs. The second order of priority is to re-sign some other uh, key free agents. Nick Delarier, who is an RFA. Casey Nelson, who is an RFA. Marcus Foligno, who is an RFA. David Legwan, who is UFA. And Chad Johnson, who is a, R a UFA. Sorry. The first order of priority is re-signing Rasmus Ristolainen. Rasmus Ristolainen has emerged as their number one defenseman on their team. They have to definitely resign him. You can bank on him at least making four to five mil a year. That's what number one defensemen are making nowadays. What they have to pay him. He's not going to be accepting a bridge deal because he's probably already an established part of your defensive core with you cannot afford to lose him to any arbitration or anything the next order of priority is to resign our phase samgis gergensen johan larson and jake mccabe i would resign these players to two-year deals because larson and gergensen's roles are not yet totally defined you don't know if Gergensen and Larson would become second or third line players yet, so a good two-year bridge deal would be good for them. Also with McCabe, you want him to solidify himself as a legit top four defenseman. Right now he's playing on the bottom pair, but maybe in two years he can solidify himself. So a good deal would be ideal for him. The next order of priority is re-signing backup goalie Chad Johnson, who has done a really good job as the backup goalie to Robin Lehner, or actually as the number one goalie for the Sabres in absence of Robin Lehner for the majority of the season. Nick Delorier can fill in from the first to fourth line, and he would be a valuable part of the team, as would uh, Marcus Polino, who you could resign to a two-year deal. He is a, what you call a utility player. You can play him on the second to fourth line. 
because of his size and you can plug him with skill players or you can play him on a checking role. The sixth order of business is to move Matt Molson. Matt Molson was signed two off seasons ago, I want to say, on a big contract. He was one of the top free agents in that class, but he did not live up to the expectations of that contract. And he is now one of the busts of the contract. He is now playing on the fourth line and the Sabres cannot afford to be playing, paying a player making $5.5 million to play on the fourth line. So it would be best if they part ways with Matt Molson, who was, by the way, handed that contract by John Tavares. Matt Molson uh, would be best to be traded so you can try to get something back from him, but I don't think anyone's going to want his contract. So you'd probably have to end up waiving him. So you, he would possibly end up in the minor leagues. The next move would be to add an unrestricted free agent defenseman, a veteran defenseman to help mentor the young defenseman. Other than Josh Georges, they do not have a veteran defenseman to help mentor their young kids grow, coming up on the fence. Besides Georges, you need another veteran defenseman in their top four. And last but not least, call up Josh Bailey, or Justin Bailey, my bad, to play on the team's top lines one of the top two lines. So to summarize these moves, players added are Willie Mitchell and Justin Bailey. Players added or lost, my bad, are David Legwand and uh, Matt Molson. So this is how the Sabres lineup would look like after all these moves. The first line would be Tyler Ennis, Jack Eichel, and Sam Reinhart. The second line would be Evander Kane, Ryan O'Reilly, Justin Bailey. Third line would be Johan Larson, Zemgis Gerbenson, and Brian Gianta. Fourth line would be Marcus Felino, Cody McCormick, and Nick Delorier. So those are the four lines. The defense the pairings would be Josh Georges, which is the current first pair. The second pairing would be Willie Mitchell, who you bring in in free agency, and Zach Bogosian, which is a much better second pair than what they have now. And the second, third pair is Mark Pesic and Jake McCabe, which is a good third pair. And the seventh defenseman is Casey Nelson, who can be a good seventh defenseman. And the goalies are Robin Lehner and Chad Johnson. So those are the, so that's the lineup I have for the Buffalo Sabres and the Boston Bruins in this episode of Armchair GM. Next episode, I will be the armchair GM for the Calgary Flames and the Carolina Hurricanes.